All right, let's now shift our attention to what is happening in the United States of America, where, interestingly, a man in the United States has now become the first person in the world to get a heart transplant from a genetically modified pig. It was a bit of a do-or-die situation which prompted the American medical regulator to grant permission for this very highly experimental surgery. Now, the surgery was performed by a team at the University of Maryland Medicine, and it is said to be among the first one to demonstrate that a pig to human heart transplant is not just theoretically possible, but was also successfully done on an individual. Now, this, of course, was a field that was brought to life by new gene editing tools. If proven successful, then scientists hope that pig organs can now help overcome the shortages of donor organs, especially for patients like David Bennett. Now, the 57-year-old was deemed ineligible for a human transplant, and this was his last option. We've never done this in a human, and I, I like to think that um, uh, we, we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been. But whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. The pigs have long been considered a source of potential transplant donors. Now, the organs of pigs are believed to be similar to human beings. Now, not only their hearts, even their kidneys, liver and lungs are being studied as potential transplant organs. Now, this is not even the first time that a pig to human transplant has been attempted. There have been attempts in the past that have failed because of genetic differences that caused infections or even organ rejection. But scientists have now overcome, reportedly, they've overcome this problem by editing away the potentially harmful genes. However, despite the changes that have been made to the genes, the patient is still not out of the odds just yet. Listen in to the doctor explain the risks that are associated with an organ transplant from a pig into a human being. Probably the biggest risk is now. Um, we seem to be past what we consider the hyperacute rejection phase that we would normally have seen in an animal organ that wasn't specially treated. Um, so we feel good about that one. So we're preparing for the next attack on his organ. We know that uh, the pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body. Different immune uh, players uh, can take it out. And we, we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized, genetically edited heart to try to account for that. Now, about 110,000 Americans are currently waiting for an organ transplant, and at least about 6,000 patients die every single year because they don't get an organ for transplant. But now, thankfully, with this new emerging technology, organs such as hearts, liver, kidney, and even lungs can be transplanted from pigs directly onto human beings. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.